Welcome back, everyone, to the Game Vault Podcast stream. I'm your host, Tom Schuster, and joining me tonight is Mark Myers. It is retro, no. it is retro roulette night. We are yeah. playing 1080 snowboarding for the Nintendo 64. Yet another N64 racing game. I can't explain it. Uh, I own other games for the Nintendo 64, I promise. <laughs> It just it just keeps working out that way. I don't know I don't know what happened. All right, let's get started. So, um, so it's always good to uh, hydrate before going down the mountain. Okay. So. You, know, you got to make sure you're hydrated. You don't want to be all out of breath and everything going down the mountain. So I don't think there's actually like a story mode or like a a. Uh, no, from what I remember, and I only played this like maybe once or twice. I was more of a uh, my. As we were talking uh, in the pre-show, my extreme sports um, was all PlayStation. It yeah. was uh, it was uh, two extreme and cool borders, two specifically um, that I played way too much of. Um, haven't played them since the '90s, but um, those those were my two. I played this a few times. All right. Hey, Jen. Hey. Um, I guess it, that's what that's our thing now. Hey, that's our thing hey. now. Uh, <laughs> so, I played this few times at my friend's house because, you know, when you're 11 or 12, you know, I had all the sports games on N64 and Zelda, of course. Yeah. Um, we all had Zelda, but I had the sports games like Madden 64, which is terrible. Um, uh, Wayne Gretzky hockey. And and uh, one of the NBA games, I don't know if it was the Kobe Bryant one or if it was like a jam equivalent or something. Mm -hmm. um, but I had those games for 64. And my friend had all the racing and like extreme sports games. Um, so I only played this a few times. Mark, um, I need to uh, reset my console real quick. Hang on. All right, no problem. Yeah, so as I was saying, I'm hopefully still alive. But um, yeah, it's just, I was more, my only experience doing any kind of games like this where you had to press buttons to do tricks or anything probably came mostly from Olympic video games. Uh, so, you know, I'm not really any good at it. And as I said before on stream, I, um, me and my friend had a, a turbo uh a PlayStation uh, controller from Mad Cats. And uh, so we use that to get through a lot of the tricks and cool, cool waters, too. Ah, Coca Cola. Yeah, for some reason, I went to the options and it, and it froze my game. So there's, there's that. Awesome. It's like you have a PS5, huh? It is. It is it's <laughs> just like that. All right, let's see. I feel like if you can, there you go. Yo, yo, what's up? The fucking, the fucking white guy from America is so doofy. <laughs> Just seeing this, and this is a very, um. Obs maybe not a, I'm not obscure to us, Tom, but yeah. an obscure pull is when I see this background of where these snowboarders are, I immediately think of Johnny Moxley's Johnny Moxley game. Yeah. Yeah. Is it John? Yeah. No. Am I confusing the wrestler with the skier? Yeah. Yeah. John Moxley is is the wrestler. wrestler. Um, you're thinking of. Um... What the hell is his name? Um, it's gonna bother me now. Uh, I can't remember. I'll look it up. I'll just look up Mogul Scare. <laughs> I can't now. Now it's gonna bother me because I can't remember it. I'll find it. It's Johnny. I know that. Johnny Mosley. Mosley. There it is. Yes. Yes. So, right. Is my game just being real stupid to me today? It just doesn't want to load past any of these screens. <laughs> All right. Yeah. The uh... we're gonna have to we're gonna have to implement a uh, 
emergency situation here. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, so if any of you are out there, um, if you want to play the Johnny Mosley game, which is ridiculous because you start skiing in like hellscapes where snowstorms have overtaken cities to where you could ski moguls on them. Um, feel free to play it. But the Johnny Mosley game is best known for its opening cutscene. And uh, let's see if I, I'll, I'll look for it on YouTube here. And I will put it in chat so Jen can watch it. It is peak 90s. Pay no mind to the screen that you see right now. It's just an illusion. It's Johnny Mosley's Mad Tricks is the name of the game. Okay. It has like the same background. They're they're in like a ski lodge, like a, a wooden ski lodge. But I am going to right. I will drop it in chat for Jen. And she can watch it and then give a reaction in chat. Okay, so at least I have like four rounds here. That's yeah, good. Ooh, Camp Crystal Lake, yeah. Oh, I'm doing tricks. Look at me. Oh, I didn't land it, though. Yeah, that's important. I'm getting my ass whooped right now. <laughs> so, just like, um, just like the opening to the pest, the opening to Johnny Mosley's Mad Tricks is yeah. one that you must see and not be told about. <laughs> I forgot you have to like react to the, yeah. the ground. There's one thing I didn't like about snowboarding games that weren't SSX. And I played them. Oh my god. <laughs> I died already. <laughs> yep. Peak late nineties there or early two thousands, Jen. I need to I need to check the settings here to make sure there's no uh like easy mode. Nope. <laughs> nope. That's it. Right. No. I'm going to assume easy mode is starting out in that first. That's what um, I. That's what I did. <laughs> yeah. Did I'm, normal. I'm gonna pick. Let me try picking somebody else. I need somebody who has good. How about that guy that's floating in midair? The guy that's floating in midair? This guy? Next next one over. Too bad. The Japanese girl who's got super... This guy? He's sitting on a stool. No, 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 no. Down at the bottom next to the pool table guy. This guy? Yeah. Oh. Well, he's sitting There's on a... a chair under him. He's sitting on, uh, <laughs> on like, a, a step. The, the 2D bar stool that's supposed to be there? Yeah. All right, let's try this, dude. The best part of that video, Jen, uh, is that they are wearing sleeveless, uh, like, snowboarding puffer vest. Oh, like from... Uh... With no shirts under them. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, dude. They thought they were so cool. Man, this game... Uh, Jen, you're going to hate this. Just a heads up. This is going to require way more, like, <laughs> concentration than I was prepared <laughs> to give. I can talk. Uh, why are you going to hate this, Jen? Because it's very touchy. 
Yeah, you have to hit, I think you gotta hit a button to land the trick, if I remember correctly. Yeah, well, you have to, like, hit Z to land, like, yeah, like, land normal, somewhat normal. Yeah. And if you're holding Z, like, while you're in the air, it does some stupid crap. Is it one of those where you gotta, like, prime it? Kinda, yeah. Especially if you're spinning, you have to prime it. Oh, <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> that was at the end, too. You yeah. lose. So, this is uh, gonna be fun. <laughs> so you get three, you get three tries, apparently. Yep. This is supposed to be the easiest level in the game. Just a heads up. Well, to be honest, it looks like the track is easy. It's just attempting to do tricks on it and not landing well. It's, it's, if you just I, raced him. I'm not even trying to do tricks. I did one trick. So, we'll see. We'll see if I can get the hang of it. Was it SSX that if you hit a trick, you gain speed? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's SSX. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, all this, all these games are reminding me of is when you play like the skiing levels in Olympic games. <laughs> Just by how generic it this you know the background is. Come on, come on, come on. That's actually pretty cool, but that's definitely oh, fake. So thank God. I won. Look at me. Hey. Hey, look at us. Do you think we'd be here right now? Who would who would have thought? Not me. <laughs> Not me. And that fulfills our requirement of doing that that thing at least once a street. <laughs> national national treasure, Paul Rudd. It's still one of my favorite jokes on the internet and it was a BuzzFeed thing that slow played it. They were like, Oh, here's the cast from Clueless, it's what they look like now. And it went through them all and then at the end it was just two pictures of Paul Rudd. Like, at, like two of the same photos of Paul Rudd next week. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's a good slow play of a joke. It's amazing how he has not aged in 25 years. Yeah. Like, if you look at him in the Super Nintendo commercial, he looks yeah. the same today. Yeah. yeah. Just the only time you really see it is maybe some close-ups, in, like when you're in HD or something in your house. Yeah. If you're but watching if you're looking at a movie screen... If you're... Yeah, if you're watching a movie screen, he looks the same. If you're watching Ant Man in 4K on your TV at home, you're, you can you're see not. It a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Ooh, that guy's badass. He has, like, weird stuff shaved into his head. I think they're cornrows. Well, they're really poorly. Well, <laughs> it's, it's the N64. I don't know. <laughs> they, just, they just stuck blocks on top of his head. That's why the American dude is the gener is generic white dude. Yeah, in the race, it's one-on-one. -on -one. I'm skipping all of the jumps because I don't trust myself. Hey, I won. Hey. I beat, I beat the best time by 20 seconds. What's up with that? Well, that's the base time. No, I'm just kidding. I would love to. I would love to see your times on your actual save. Me too. But just to see how how great you you were when you played that more regularly. Yeah, but my game does not want to work right now for some reason. Oh, the frame rate! The frame rate! Oh, it's an N64 game. Now put it in performance mode, Tom. Oh, it's this is performance. This is hot. I have it's all jacked up. I have I have my uh, 
what's it called in my uh, expansion pack? It's not making a goddamn bit of difference. Yeah. My um. Ooh. By the way, the music in this sounds just like NWO uh, versus the world. Oh. I don't know how you did not hit that. I think I did. What, the one you went under? Oh, no, yeah, that not that one. I don't know how <laughs> I didn't hit that either. Hopefully I can make it down the hill without dying. That'd be nice. Now, I'm pretty sure if you win, you unlock new boards and stuff. Could be wrong. Yeah, you, yeah, you unlock the... Uh... Oh, get up, get up. This is not looking good. I know you unlock the other... The harder difficulties. Yeah, you don't have to unlock the uh, expert and double black, black diamond, diamond or whatever it is. Thankfully, the one time I went skiing, I wasn't dumb enough to go down a double black diamond. Yeah, don't, do, don't, don't do that. I, d I don't recommend it. I went down, like, the medium hill. The blue? I don't remember. I only, it was, I did the, the, you know, the bunny hill a couple times just to get used to it, and then I went down the, the blue or whatever, and... Basically, I was a dumbass teenager and was just like, oh, if I squat while going down like I see in the Olympics, I'll go faster. I go faster. <laughs> <laughs> Not realizing you don't know how to stop. Yeah. Yeah. Not knowing that I can't uh, go to pizza fast enough. Pizza, french fries, pizza, french fries. <laughs> yeah. So snowboarding, for those of you who've never done it, uh, super difficult when you start out. Uh, it's, it's very, it's not an easy thing to learn, but once you learn it, it's, it's, it's like riding a bike. Yeah. Uh, but I, uh, I did not have a good first time. I, uh, <laughs> broke my wrist the first time I went. Yeah. And to this day, I will contest that it was not my fault. <laughs> yeah. Somebody yeah, fell down was, in front of me and I just... Did not have this. Did not have the skill yet to get around them without falling and ate shit yeah. and broke my wrist. Yeah. The the final time I went down a hill, I didn't know how to stop and someone cut in front of me, so I just dove. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I probably ended up spraining my wrist. Yeah, that's that's the other thing. Nobody teaches you how to fall. There's a very specific way you should fall when you're snowboarding, skiing. Yeah, when you yeah yeah when you broke your wrist, you definitely ate some ass down there. Yep. Yep. You are not supposed to put your hands down behind you, which is exactly what I did, and yeah. did that, not... that's a good thing you're with us, Tom, because we're all pro ass eating in this. Stream. <laughs> have, have we have we discussed this at some point? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know if I was missing something from a prior stream. <laughs> Uh, those Sunday night streams get out of hand. Ah, uh, I can imagine. <laughs> Everybody's all loopy and doesn't want to go back to work. Uh, go, man, go. Okay, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on the street right now. Not good for your board. Done that before. Unless it, this is oh, it's a street. Okay, I was like, unless this is supposed to be like straight ice. No, no. It's supposed to be a street. Not good. Yep. This is not going well either. I'm getting better, but uh, still not good. And uh, those of you out there in the chat, uh, just note that I, is the... Uh, official um, emojis of this chat. Oh, I did it. Make sure oh, they have to oh. be in that order. <laughs> okay, that's why we're that's why we're doing it. Okay.
Am I going to see credits already? Yeah, I saw, um... <laughs> I saw a comedian that was like... You know... What happened if you went back in time and saw your younger self? And you explain, like, oh, man, I do all this work for a living. And it's, oh, man, that that sucks. Uh, you know, and then you make fun of him. And he goes, oh, why don't you go eat a butt? And he's like, well, about that. <laughs> <laughs> that becomes a normal thing. That is not an insult. <laughs> not anymore. They made a whole song about it. Yeah. Do you see credits at the end of each one of these? I'm not sure. I didn't see credits, so. Oh, I thought you said you did. I was I was asking I was trying to figure out if I was going to. Sorry. Alright. I was a bit distracted. It's okay. You were distracted by the booty. It's okay. I don't blame yeah. you. Let's go. Let's try white dude again. Generic white dude. Rob Haywood versus Dion Blaster. Dion Ready? Blaster. Go. Yeah. Uh. Is this the Ken of this game? Yeah, pretty much. If yeah, so I did don't... You go ahead. No, go ahead. I was gonna say if... You were going to talk about the game. I wasn't. So go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, if I don't do well on this, I'll try out the trick attack mode. Because there's also like a half pipe mode and a like a slope style thing. Where you actually have... Like doing tricks is the whole point. Yeah, yeah this seems like it's towing the line between wanting to be a snowboard racer... And a trick game. Well, this mode for sure is just a race mode. There's not really any incentive to do tricks. All right, what were you going to say, Mark? Did you see that tweet about the uh, QA tester playing Cyberpunk? No. And that he is, uh, he's 175 hours into the game already. Oh, my God. That's, that and does not and, bode well for me. And he's not even trying to 100% it. Oh, that, that that freaks me out already. <laughs> Rob Granted, uh, what what date is that? Is it supposed to come out? December something. Is it this, at, before or after December seventh? I think after. I'll look it up. Well, I have vacation starting December seventh, so if it could come out that day or close to it, that would be awesome. December 10th. Okay, so it happens while I'm on vacation. Sweet. Hopefully it actually comes out that week. Ah, it looks like it is. They're doing a lot of... It's already been in the wild. Somebody took a photo of the bin at Amazon Warehouse. Oh, did they? It's gone gold? It's always gone gold way before. But the issue is that some of them... Like, there was this... Um, Apparently, some places have broke street date already. Oh, did they? And uh, some guy apparently on uh, streaming on YouTube uh, was streaming it high as fuck on there. <laughs> he, which he had to be because, you know, by doing that, it showed that he probably got it illegally. Right. So they can <laughs> prosecute. Yeah. Yeah, they said he, he he couldn't get it. He couldn't he couldn't figure out how to get into a car. In the Which is probably one button press. Yeah. All right, I think I'm finally getting the hang of this. Yeah, you do look like you're more consistent. Finish. Finish. Here you go, Jen. Oh, 
new record. Rob Haywood versus Kensuke Kimachi. Ready? Go! Yeah. I can tell if somebody's played a lot of Capcom fighting games, um, or at least two of them specifically. Um, when anybody uh, says the country of Japan and they gotta go, Japan! <laughs> Japan. <laughs> like most notably in Street Fighter 2 and for me, Saturday Night Slam Masters. Oh, so uh, update on my. Uh my Dreamcast project. Most of the parts have uh, have gotten here. And I set up my SD card, so now I'm, I just need to, like, put everything together. Awesome. So, maybe we can try that out on stream sometime. Because I'll be able to just cycle through some games. And then have to... <laughs> Well, Jen, listen. Uh, Jonathan just gave back most of the parts to the system that he had. I could put it together for you <laughs> for a good price. Because I don't need another computer around here. He walked away so he can't dispute it. <laughs> <laughs> Only a couple things need to be purchased. Oh, get up, get up, get up! I was thinking of buying some more storage. Well, that's, well, that's what needs to be purchased, is storage. By the, by the way, right now is probably the best time to buy storage. Yeah. It's I was like, looking at some SSD prices. It's like super cheap right now. Yeah. And oh, wait, let's see what my bonus is. Also, like power supplies were super expensive for quite a while, and they are finally coming down in price after <laughs> months and months of being out of stock. Yeah, I may need to invest in a uh, Xbox One power supply. I think. Yeah, the bricks going bad. I think one one time it wouldn't turn on, and I had to completely unplug it, and a few times to get it to kick in. Yeah. And then and then yesterday when I was playing, um, the second time I don't know if it was the thing just powering off, um, or I accidentally hit it with my toe or hit one of the wires into the touch thing and yeah. shut it off. So. If it happens a third time, then I'll probably have to look into it. <laughs> yeah, Jen, you bought a power supply at probably the worst time ever to buy a power supply. Let's just put it that way. So, and those should be re relatively cheap now that the new system's out, right? Uh, I don't know. I'm not I'll, sure. I will, I'll, I'll check out Stone Age. Yeah, Stone Age, I would check there first. And if they don't have it there, then Amazon. Honestly, like going to Microsoft.com, might, they might have it. Yeah, I'll check all around and see. Because I was thinking of buying another SSD. Yeah, I need, need to, I need to do that too, because I've started now doing our videos on my PC we stream, um, what's it called on? Uh, Call of Duty. And yeah. I need... Uh, like a scratch disc because yeah. I don't want to burn out my boot SSD. So I need like a scratch disc. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can theoretically get rid of all the Stranger Damey stuff now. Theoretically, sure. Yeah. Ooh, new Rob level. Haywood. Oh, go, man. Durgan. That's right. Durgan. Durgan Mountain. Luckily, I have four, ch four chances to beat this. Because I screwed up already. I 
this is like Rainbow Road for snowboarding. This is not cool. Thankfully, that neon sign kept you on the mountain. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't know which way to go otherwise. What the f... Is this Zelda? Looks like a, an Ocarina of Time bridge. Yeah. Oh. Uh, using those assets. Yeah, that's right. They got to. They they got them. Might as well use them, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm stuck. <laughs> totally stuck. Stuck in the fresh pack powder. This is stuff. Man, you forget, like, if you haven't played an N64 game in a while, and then you load one up, and then all of a sudden you're trying to <laughs> go through a graphically intensive part, wow. Uh, you forget how bad console gaming was at this time. Yeah. What the f... Again with the bridge? Yeah, what we gained and lost in terms of going from cartridge to CD. You know, CD allowed everything to look a lot better and perform a lot better. But cartridge had almost no loading time. Yep. Well, that's kind of what we see now with the Switch versus the other consoles. Yeah, being flash memory. It seems like, it seems like memory the other consoles uh, solved that problem. The newer ones. Yeah, we'll see. We'll this this will be the um, the generation to tell us. If you're not first, you're last. That's right, Jen. In this game, you're if you're not, you all you're definitely last. Go. Yeah. Always follow the words of Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby's dad. Ricky Bobby's dad. Sorry. Which, have you seen, they, they came out with Dodge commercials around that character? Will Ferrell needs to get paid. No, 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 it's not It's not Will Ferrell's character. It's, uh, what's his name? Oh, Dad? Yeah. The guy from freaking Office Space. I can't, I can never remember his name. What, um... Lumberg. Uh, Gary Cole? Yeah, yeah, I think that's his name. You would know better than me, Mark. Yeah. I'm trying to remember, because he was in the, the Hitman voting thing. It was either kill him or kill Gary Busey. <laughs> oh, God. Get up. This level is not easy. Can't even really see where any path is. Nope, no, you can't. Yep, that's exactly how that would happen. Your board wouldn't snap in half. Oh, come on! That's some bullshit. Oh, man. God damn it. Uh. Retire. All right. Rob Haywood. I think I got at least Rob one more go at this. Ready? At the Durgan go. Cave. The... The music in this level is very intense, too. Very frantic. Being a snowboarder myself, this is giving me anxiety just thinking about trying to do this. <laughs> I 
something a special ring of fire up there? Yeah, I don't know what that was. That was the first time I saw it. Huh. I mean, yes, it also needs the souls of the unborn, but... The rates for renting a mountain out are pretty cheap, so that's why we keep going back. I have fallen on that every time. Now I'm like gun shy with my controller. Oh, get back on the track. Get back on the track. Come on, the finish line's right there. I did it. Oh, that was, uh... Whew. Yay, level clear. That was more difficult than it should have been. That's for sure. Also, I think this game was... Sponsored by Tommy Hilfiger or something. That would some, make sense for the time frame. Some clothing brand. Uh, if you would have finished with six seconds on the clock, you would have seen fireworks. Oh, really? No, I'm making a Mario oh, joke. Oh, you're making a Mario joke? <laughs> <laughs> I like how they're waving to no one, yeah. Alright. Oh, it's a... It's COVID snowboarding. Everybody's socially distant right now. Yeah. 1080 snowboarding was ahead of its time. Okay. <laughs> Chen, this console didn't have enough power to do cardboard stand-ups. any boards yet by the way watching this just the board select thing yeah. made me want to snowboard so much more than I already did yeah the uh, the uh, um, skateboarding games that I would try and play make me want to do that and then I realize I can't skateboard Well, luckily, I eventually learned how to snowboard, and I'm pretty good at it now. Granted, I haven't really gone in... I don't... I couldn't even tell you. Yeah, those first couple have... runs are difficult. Yeah. I mean, the first... going, The first run down the hill is always like... Oh, it's like getting back in shape. You gotta get your lungs back. I would stick to skiing for me. I never even tried to ski. I just wanted to snowboard. All my friends snowboarded, so I wanted to do it. Yeah. Skiing was the cheaper rental when we went on a ski trip for my uh, my church. Yeah. They're like, oh, it's it's 40 bucks to rent ski stuff, and it's 60 for snowboarding. Well, yeah. I will ski. Yeah. <laughs> Snowboarding is the more popular choice, I think. That's why they charge more. Yeah, Jen, they make like um, hard boots for. What the hell happened? I crashed out. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. You crashed out right at the end. Jen, they make hard uh, boots for people with bad ankles. So you should check that out. Because I have bad ankles too. So. It definitely helps. 
with bad ankles and no balance. <laughs> I uh, no, because I would have them. <laughs> I I can't tell I can't tell you how many times I've rolled my ankle just walking. That's how bad my ankles are. Like I've I've had to have sprained both of my ankles ten times a piece. After you do it the first time, it just keeps happening. It just never stops happening after that. Yeah, I have thankfully not sprained my ankle after my really big sprain two years ago. When I literally thought I broke my ankle. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I rolled it. I was like, oh, I can't put any weight on this. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, my worst muscular injury like that, I separated my shoulder last year. Uh, which kind of got me to focus on doing this podcast. It kind of, it's kind of where the idea came from, because I couldn't do anything for weeks. And I... I'll, I'll show it off after this race, but I have this weird bump on my shoulder now where my um, my muscle tore away. Oh, that's awesome. It just looks weird. Yeah, my ankle thing was me coming down a step. No athletics involved. Oh, mine was diving for a softball and landing on the top of my shoulder like a goddamn idiot. <laughs> like the complete top of my shoulder. Man, the AI gets real nasty in this, this this level of competition. It turns into road rage. No, no I'm sorry, road rage. Yes. What minus the uh, the, chain the chains and, and the <laughs> the whips and everything else. Well, that just sounds like the clean fun. God damn it. I didn't have battle scars until recently. <laughs> it sucks. All right. Well, I just lost again. I'll have to re retry. All right. Let me see if I... I don't know that I can get it on camera. Let me try. Just uh, be real careful of certain things you can't show on Twitch. Can you see that? This bump on the top of my shoulder. Not really. Oh, yep, there. I, yep, I think so. Jen? Can you see like, it? I can't, like, get anything behind it. Okay. Yeah, she can see it, because... It, I know my screen is this big on the on the bottom of it, so... But, yeah. I didn't... I didn't want that to be, like, a Mandela effect where I thought I saw it. Well, no, I was seeing it. Sorry. This shoulder has no bump. This one, you could very clearly see it right there. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, getting old. Welcome. Rob Haywood. But yeah, I messed up my shoulder um, like the same time that everything in my house was breaking. So it was a oh. great, it was a good time. Like my, I'm, that day my hot water heater got replaced because it was leaking all what, over the place. Wasn't that how it always happens? Oh, uh, last... 2019, I would take 2020 any day over 2019 for me. 2019, we had to buy Nicole, Nicole a new car. Uh, her car died. Uh, we had to buy a new fridge. Her fridge died. Our fridge died. Um, what else do we have to buy? Um... We had to get a new furnace, an air conditioning unit. All this stuff happened like within three, four months. Home ownership. Oh, dude. Going from my first house to this one was like night and day. The last house, there was nothing wrong. 
ever. This house, everything went wrong all at the same time. Oh, and we got our we got our septic replaced. Septic cost ten grand. Ten grand. Oh yeah, and our basement flooded <laughs> numerous times. But I, we figured out what was causing that. Thank God. Well, good news is at least all that happened when you guys were relatively young. <laughs> yeah. And can work to make all that money back. <laughs> yeah. Luck. Yeah. Luckily, most of it. Well, the the septic system at least was. Sure. Covered. It was covered by our set when we bought the house. They gave us the money okay. for that, so we, that wasn't out of our pockets at least, because they knew they wouldn't be able to sell the house the way the septic was. So they just gave us the money to do it. What I wonder if that contractor was like, "I'm just going to raise my price." No, he didn't. He he didn't. Uh, the guy we had do it, I don't think, was the same person they. Oh okay. Had to do the thing. The guy, actually, the guy actually, the guy actually saved us some money. He was like, "Listen, the tank, or what? One of the things he was like, the tank is like almost new. You don't have to replace that. And we thought we were gonna have to replace it, and he saved us like five hundred bucks. So, I was happy. God, I'm just getting my ass kicked here. I might have to switch to the <laughs> to the trick mode." Ah, uh, sellers. I love the the industry I'm in. What did, I can't read that. What did she say about the sellers? Uh, she said the sellers kept pretending that her house was $30,000 over what it was with all the issues they inspector found. Oh, yeah. People think that there's never anything wrong with their house. Even after people tell them that there's things wrong with the house, like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. You'll live. Oh, I forgot. I had to replace the ele electrical panel before we moved in, too. But that was before everything. The electrical panel we had them do before, like, we really moved in. It must be a shortcut that he keeps doing, Tom. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't realize that before. That's how he's getting out in front of me. Also, I keep falling like a damn idiot. Uh, this is going to be the last run, and then I'm going to try some tricks. Try some trick attack. It's a maxi pad. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's probably supposed to be a lift ticket, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a lift ticket. Game over. Why am I doing Even though I ha I had the fastest time uh, ever on that track, I uh, I still lost by a ton. Well, it's Camp Crystal Lake, so. All right, let's try trick attack. Trick attack. We want this dude, the Canadian dude. <laughs> That's just That's just really offensive his name. He's Canadian. Even... What would his last name be? Winterborn. <laughs> sure, give that to Canadian. I don't know, I forget if it was um I think it might have been an interview with the wrestler Kevin Owens where he joked about that he doesn't really like hockey or beer. Right. And people are confused because he's Canadian. <laughs> and he's like, we don't all come out with hockey sticks and skates on when we're born. I mean, where are the jumps? They all at the end? 
This is a weird mode. That hurt. I think you're yeah. I think you're supposed to do the tricks there. Yeah, the SSX this is not. Oh, here we go. That did not work out well for me. I have like no speed right now. Yeah, the half pipe not working out too well for me here. I don't even think it's supposed to be a half pipe. It's it's slanted down. I'm gonna run out of time before I get to the ramps. Hey, I did a trick. Look at me. You grab. Oh. Well, that would have been renamed in the update to this game. Yes, it would have. That was a pretty cool story. I didn't know. God, this is difficult. <laughs> Most of your score was a time bonus. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Let's try it again. Ricky Winterborn. Go. Go. Tiffy. Oh, look out. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and retry. Go. I think the thing that that's the thing that would make me unable to play Tony Hawk is the whole you have to press a button to land. Tony Hawk you don't have to. Or was Wait, or was that the other game that we were playing? That was Thrasher. Thrasher, Skate, and Destroy you had to press a button to to, to land. land. Yeah. I'm going to wait until Tony Hawk's on Super Sale before I pick it up and try it. Yeah, I would not. It, like I said in our discussion pri prior, if you were not a huge Tony Hawk fan, I mean it's it's built on nostalgia. Like if you didn't if you didn't grow up playing Tony Hawk One or Two, those games are not for you. Yeah, when those games came out, I was. Um... Strictly sports and Final Fantasy. Yeah, I was a, a mixture. I had like, like I had, I had games like um, Triple Play and stuff like that. But I also played Final Fantasy VII, and I was into the X Games. Like the X Games were the coolest thing I'd ever seen at the time. Yeah. Time extension. Yeah, so games like Tony, all that extreme support stuff I wasn't really into. Hey! Roxy Foxy, thanks for the 100 bits. Yeah! We need to get cool uh, things like Game Dave has. We need like a some kind of GIF to celebrate our things. Well, that's what he, he has. He has an actual video, like a video of him speaking. Like he, like when someone gives bits, it's like thanks, thanks for donating some bits. Yeah, the girl that uh, who was it? She was like a voice actress. Um, that I saw a um, like got raided from going from a Brianna White stream when she was playing remake. Um, yeah. And every time she'd get a sub, she had this whole like like four or five videos that you would go to <laughs> you know that was like some of them were like her doing disney princesses songs like dressed as the princesses yeah i've seen like i've, I've seen people use music yeah. All i kinds think of i stuff. think first step is is a gif let's get some kind of funny gif on there that people would want to see over and over again. So, it's weird. Doing spinning tricks is like a separate thing. Like in Tony Hawk, you you do a trick and spin at the same time. 
this game, you do a trick, then you spin. It's really weird. Also, this game, the music has like a super 90s thing to do. It's like a 90s techno song, but the guy's going, this is a test. This is this. only a test. Oh man, if I could get that for my fuser mix. Oh, it's that on. hurt. I hit the invisible wall. You want me to stutter? I, can, I said I could do it for you. Put some stutter on that. That's exactly what they're doing. <laughs> it's only a test. <laughs> no, there's a female character, Jen. It's a Japanese chick is the female character. It's always the Japanese character female. Well, that's so they could have a uh, waifu. Oh, dude, why did you not do it, dude? It's Nintendo. All right, uh, I don't know what's going on. All of a sudden, my guy doesn't want to spin. He's like, I'm dizzy, bro. Nice try. Keeps eating. Yes, yes, he does. He keeps eating that white, powdery ass. Let's try it again. Ah, so you like it fresh out of the shower? I see. Yep, direct out of the shower. I think I think we're gonna murder Jen with all of her entendres. Are you kidding? She's probably loving it. <laughs> Jonathan pops out of nowhere. That's inappropriate. <laughs> I thought this was a family friendly script. <laughs> it is far from it. Let me tell you. not a kid stream. Yeah, I mean, they... Yeah, this channel was definitely not a kids-friendly channel. No, th I mean, it's it's geared towards people our age, for sure. Yeah. There's Only people our age would be interested in yeah. old it's, video especially games. The, especially the, uh, you know, while playing Dead by Daylight, we always make Reference to cleansing our totem. <laughs> Why are you not jumping? What are you doing, dude? No, this is definitely a uh, Gen Z or whatever the hell we are thing. Millennial. Yeah. Millennial Gen Z made it cool to do that. And the rest of us was like, yeah, why haven't we been doing that? <laughs> We're older millennials. Also, uh, Jen, this is one of those games that spamming buttons will not do anything. Did it? All right. Uh, let me see what else. What other modes we got here? Uh, I, I, I d don't think I'm a millennial. I'm a zillennial. I'm very much, we're very much at the, that, uh, that line. Hero request. Who, who do you want me to be? You want me to be the girl, Jen? Okay. I don't know what this is. So. I'd rather be called millennial than the worst generation. Which, which are the answers? Gen X. 
Yeah. I'm trying to not give her a board that's too gigantic. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a goddamn slalom. Ready? Go. She might be the coolest looking character in this game. It's because she's the Japanese chick. Oh, I missed that one. Am I doing this backwards? Yes. Doing this backwards. We just need someone. Why is red left? That makes no goddamn sense. Well, it's the open part of the flag, essentially. I know, but red should be left. <laughs> or right, rather. I've never done enough slaloms to notice if the colors made a difference. Oh, what the f Where am I? Go! Oh. We just need one of the snow forwarders to look like Kenny Fisher. I need to restart this. Ready? Go. Like in what's it called? Um, what's the game we just played on N64? Wave Race? Right yes. is red. I guess the the thing is to your right. I don't know. The flag is to your right. I guess that's why they did it. Uh, there, to, to their credit, there is a lot of stuff to do in this game, even though it's not, like, super in-depth play-wise. You could spend hours doing this. Just, like, trying to beat your own times and stuff like that. This is this is also basing it on things where we, we had that kind of time when we were kids. And we only got one game... You know, a thing, a game for your birthday or a game for Christmas. Hey. Oh, I would love to see that. Uh, Dan, that's incorrect. We did not raise $1,200. Not yet. We'll see, we should pick our own DDR. You can dance on the mats while I drop sick beats and freezer. That was fucking terrible. Check hey. again. There's no way you gave $600. <laughs> and why would you? You could have bought a new computer with that money. That's right. That's amazing to you. Sorry, I got stuck in the. Uh, I made a uh, can hardly wait reference, so now I'm in an IMDb rabbit hole. <laughs> I was wondering where you went. Yeah. Finding out all these. Hey, like, there's so many just random, like, people that became, like, known actors and character actors that just pop up in it. It's amazing. I just realized what the music in this makes me think of. The music in this game makes me think of Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill. Yeah. Like the fact I... that uh, Selma Blair is in that movie is credited as chick that Mike hits on. <laughs> Not an actual character. Yeah. Well, then again, that's probably before intention so Selma Blair wasn't Selma Blair is yet, it? but is it though? Is Can it's ninety seven? I didn't World think it was that uh, old. Be weighted, 97. I didn't think it was that old. Ninety eight. 
but cruel intentions, I think it's 99. Or it was at least filmed, I would say. Right. Bill Nye the skater guy. Bill Nye had great music. They did all the cover, like the, the weird covers. Of uh, like real music. Yeah. Ready? Oh, I would. That should be a goal for our channel is to. Me and me and uh, me and Bill and I uh, co co op freestyle some sick feeds on Fuser. Yeah, you're right. P H A T J. Fat. Oh, so there's like multiple rounds of this thing. I didn't realize. Crystal Peak. That hurt. Oh my God, go. No, it does not. You just don't, you just get time. You don't lose it. No, you don't lose any time. It just gain you gain time. It's just like a arcade mode in any racing game. You do get more points <laughs> the more you go through, but yeah. Like, I've already screwed this way up that I can't really miss another one, even though I just did, and I'm going to lose. Yeah. I blew it, fam. Oh, this is a test. I blew myself. Uh, the rest of the development. That's such a great development. <laughs> David Cross is a genius. So, I just watched something on Band Sticks. Yeah. And the dude in Arrested Development with one arm, he does the robot to Mr. Roboto in the car. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know if you know this, but. Volkswagen put out an ad with that song and the person that was doing the robot to the song in the car was that same actor. So they like referenced this weird Volkswagen ad from years like 10 years before. That sounds like that show. I'll probably never do it, but a show I keep seeing that I should prop I, I only absorb through memes and gifts is, is Shit's Creek. Mark, I will give you a show that you need to watch. That show is New Girl. Oh, I watched the first season. You need to watch all the seasons. They're very good. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I wrote a follow-up because I loved the pilot, and I wrote a follow-up about uh, Damon Wayne Jr. not being in it. That's because he um, was on another show at the same time. Yeah, he was on Happy Endings, which is such a fucked up thing that happened with all those actors. Where they all went to pilots, and some of them got picked up, and then they said, oh, nope, we're renewing the show. We, they yeah they picked up that show and it was on for a season right and that was it. Um, I think it went one or two more, but 
Yeah. Whatever season he comes back on New Girl was the season after it got canceled. I think so. it was season four. Yeah, so it was, it was three or four. It was either three or four. She, he came back. The funny thing is, they continue to reference him even after the pilot. Yeah. Like to keep him in the storyline. Because they were going to bring and, him back. Got free. Right. So, and they did the same thing towards the end of the show because he leaves towards the end of the show, but they continually reference him still. Yeah. I, I just love that they did that. Yeah. That's bullshit. I went through that gate. Yeah, after watching that first season, I really thought he, uh, Jake Johnson was going to blow up as an actor. I mean, he didn't blow up, but at the same time, I feel like he is still a pretty well-known actor, or at least gets good roles. Yeah. Like, he was, he played Spider-Man, for God's sake. Well, Peter B. Parker. Right. Well, it's still <laughs> No, still I know it's just... It's a specific sweatpants. Yeah, he's, a, he's a very specific Spider-Man, but yes, he played he played a Spider-Man. Oh shit! Yeah, Get I up. thought he was gonna be like turn into like one of those Apatow guys. Yeah, that's just in everything. Yeah, like like Rudd and Rogan, uh, not Rogan. Uh, I mean, yeah, he's Rogan. been. I'm trying to think. He's been in a. a few other things if I can remember correctly. He was in that, he was in that Dupass, or Dupass comedy where the time machine one with Aubrey Plaza. Safety not guaranteed. That was the name. That's really good. I'm not going to get anything here. Oh, do a trick. Hey, I actually did some tricks. Hey, an indie nosebleed. I feel like he was in a like a a serious movie that I just watched not that long ago. I can't remember. I woke him up. I woke it up. Ready? But I do enjoy him. I need to watch. He's also in a show with another actress I really like. Um, well, he's in Stumptown. Yeah, Stumptown. <gasps> I really want to watch Stumptown. Because I like both of those actors. Yeah, like her. How many? I liked her in How I Met Your Mother and all of the Marvel movies. People forget how big of a character she is in those movies. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, he should have been in a lot more than he's in. I, I I keep thinking that New Girl was so long ago. It really wasn't. It was 2018 that it, it, they ended it. Yeah, but it was on a while. It was on eight seasons? Seven? Eight seasons? Something like that? But yeah, I mean, obviously the breakout star of that show is Zoe Deschanel, and I th I feel like um, Max, what's his name, Max uh, Greenberg? Yeah, uh, Green Greenfield or Green, Greenfield. Greenfield. God, that's t uh, that was a terrible misstep by me. Uh, yeah, he's a very good actor too. He's good in mo most things I've seen him in as well. 
Nicole loves him in New Girl. Yeah, he's, he's got one of my favorite bits in that whole show. Which is when what? he made the uh, dating video that was just the opening to the hills. <laughs> uh, I love the douchebag jar. Well, favorite. he was in Jurassic Park, the new one, Jake Johnson. Yes, that's I knew. I know he was in something recently. Yeah, he was in Tag as well. Mm -hmm. He's in the Mummy. The new Mummy. The yeah, the bad the Dooku, mummy. The Dooku Mummy. Yeah, the bad Mummy. Uh, have you heard that the the dark cinematic universe thing? The Dark Universe Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Yep, That's and they, not... they had them already, and then they just did the one movie. Yeah. Like, they had Tom Cruise signed on. They had all this crap. All right. Oh, and, uh... they, and I like them in Drinking Buddies. Yeah, Maybe that that's has... what I saw them in, Drinking Buddies. Yeah, that movie's all improv. That's one of the fun things learning about that movie. Alright, Mark. I've pretty much finished everything I can yeah. do in, in this. Should I load something else up or should we end it? I mean, I've been going on for an it, hour and yeah, 20 minutes. Uh, I don't know how quickly it'd be. Do you want to load up something like uh, like Cool Borders 2 or 2 Extreme or something? Uh, I don't know if any of those are on this system. Let me, let me look. Let me look. No, they would I be on PlayStation. But... I want to see if there's any... I don't think I have either of those. Yeah. Let me let me reset my system and see what is on the EverDrive. Yeah. Yeah, just... If we could get Cool Birds 2 running, we can at least see a snowboarding game. Like a... Uh, what's it called? A, um... A contemporary of 1080. All right. Where was I? Ba, 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 ba. I... Yeah, I don't know anything else that would make any sense to play right now after playing that. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have my PS Classic hooked up down here, or else that would be easy to throw on, but I don't have it down here because that has cool borders on it. They made a Blades of Steel 99? Oh, yeah. I had no, I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing on there was if you can pull up Gretzky. I think that's the only thing we mentioned, just to see what another sports game looks like in terms of crowd. Wayne Gretzky hockey. Uh, Wayne Gretzky hockey. It'll be under Wayne. There we go. Ninety-eight or normal? Uh three D hockey, which would be the original. Yeah. I don't think it matters, but I don't think I've ever played this game. Oh, good old Williams joint. <laughs> You, you know your game is great when it's made by people that make pinball. All right. I don't I don't know how to play this at all. Oh, it's an arcade game? Oh, it's yeah. like NBA Jam? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Real dumb. Real, real dumb. Well, obviously, like you got to he... play against the Devils. So. I'm going to be the Devils. Well, you have to... Will they let you choose them? Okay. No, I didn't know if, since they were on the other side, if they would let you choose them. Oh, God, I don't remember any of these dudes. I'll go Andrew Chuck. Oh, yeah, it's Devils Against Devils. Okay. New Jersey's the opening face -off. I don't know which side. Okay, I'm the white. Oh, it's the same. It's the same uh, announcer. I scored a goal already. Jen, you would love this freaking game. Yeah, Wayne Gretzky hockey is stupid good. 
I would, if Jen wants to play an arcade hockey game, I would tell her to find a completely legal way to find this game. Yeah, Jen, play this, please. <laughs> I bet you, I mean, you could, she has an N64. I'm sure she could figure that out. She find could this. get a super cheap copy somewhere. Yeah. This is awesome. We said that you should try and get this game. You would love it. It's just really dumb arcade hockey. I have scored three goals in a minute. It's Wayne Gretzky hockey. Yeah, so this is where the NHL threes basically bore out of. This and NHL hits. Which was more like, yeah. which was, as the name blitz. says, supposed to be more like Blitz. Yeah. And here's the face -off. Yeah, I used to own this game. I think I traded it in at some point for something. Because it's not one of the four and 64 games I found. Good old Marty Brodor. No, no, no. I think 98 tried to go a little more sim. I don't remember. It's pop. I don't, I don't have any idea. Yeah, I don't remember. I just remember this game. We had this and I think Blitz. Blitz was on 64. Uh, yes, Blitz was on 64. Oh, I was going to be on a breakaway, but I blew it. So, yeah, they clearly wanted to make this way more interesting than hockey is. No offense. And that went in. Uh, yeah, Mark, so I would keep an eye on Stone Age Gamer this week. Yeah, that's what I was doing. If you are looking for a... Uh, yeah, I'll just see what the prices are and stuff like that. Because there are other things, as much as I want to do that SD and whatever. SD SNES. Well, it's, it's called something different now. It's called the FX Pack Pro. Yeah. Because they got in trouble for saying SD... Stupid as that is. Yeah, by the way, um, if anybody out there was thinking of streaming Cyberpunk, they're going to have a uh, a button to let you disable all copyrighted music. That's See, that's the kind of stuff we need. I think Control does that, too. Do they have copyrighted music in that game? Well, I guess they have to. But it's not, like, popular music. Yeah. I want to say that Tony Hawk has that too. You can turn off the the music. Yeah. Yeah, and the the way uh, um, Fuser tells you to do it is just only have you your camera and Fuser playing, and that's it. Oh, they is there like a streamer mode for Fuser? No, no, that's what they recommend. Oh, okay. There are like no bells and whistles around it. Don't monetize the stream. You know, just the game and your camera. Yeah. You know, like none of this. We couldn't do any of this. Right. Because they can't put it in streamer mode because the whole point of the game is the, the right. Speed. What the frick? <laughs> yeah. It's a like rock band. Yeah. Yeah. He had shot it so hard, he knocked your goalie into the net. Oh, the old rubber banding engine. I see, is it work? Oh, yeah. For sure. Did you hear the story? Um, 
about when they made NBA Jam that they made it. Um, they made it so the Bulls couldn't shoot in the third quarter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because they knew everybody would pick the Bills. Uh, Bills, Jesus, Bulls. Yeah, the weirdest thing about NFL Blitz is apparently all the champion NFL Blitz players for some reason picked the Detroit Lions. And it has nothing to do with Sanders. Well, the funny thing about NBA Jam is that Jordan's not even in the in any of those games. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, like where, that was... I remember when they made a big deal on NBA Live when they finally got Shaq. He was like, we have Shaq! One timer. One timer right there. Ah, the, uh, the simpler days of sports video games. Yeah, it was the, the good old days. That guy is stuck behind the net right now. When, yes, that blocky face definitely looks like Bill Guerin. I mean, these guys totally look legit. I don't care what they look like. It plays. It's fun. Yeah. Like there's no there's no game like this today. That you well, the NHL put a game. three in NHL is pretty good. I feel like you could not put out a game like this today. Yeah, you couldn't put out a full game. Like NHL right, three is part of NHL twenty one. Right. You couldn't put this out as a sixty dollar game today. Yeah. This was, this may have even been more because it's sixty four. It might have been seventy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he strips him. Yeah, oh, late, late, late error cartridge games. Kids think they have it bad nowadays. And that's, and with inflation, it's even worse. Yeah. Like, what was it? Chrono Trigger was like 80? Yeah, at least 80. I think Earthbound was also 80. Yeah. Which is why no one owns Earthbound. And if you do, it, you're going to put your kids through college with it. Uh, the stream delay will let me know what happens in this game. God damn it. It's going to be a tie. Oh! Wait a minute. No shootout in this game. I love how the guy is talking and counting down at the same time. Ten. Flying V. Oh, he, he's like Tom Burnerman. Tom Burnerman, yeah. The devil, seven, long okay. guy. Cassianos is going back, and I'm probably not going to wear this microphone anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that's a good spot to end. That's a good stopping point. This is fun. Yeah. Yeah, the... Uh, the one thing I would love to see, just one quick hockey point, because Jen says that it gives her a heart attack. I really want them to do the World Juniors thing, is that after the first round, like the first five or whatever, three, um, that the same guy can do it over and over again. I think that's a lot more fun than starting to get like your sixth defenseman to try and score in a breakaway. <laughs> you know. The guys who like, don't handle the puck ever. The guys who, yeah. the guys who are more likely to stop and then just take a slap shot yeah. instead of yeah. try to get up to the net. Yeah, yeah. The it, it was my favorite thing because they do it in the Olympics. The last time the NHL was there for the Olympics, uh, they had T.J. Oshie uh, and the other guy on Canada. I forget who the guy on Canada was, and they did it for six straight rounds, going back and forth, doing great moves to <laughs> to beat the goalie. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So. You said I have some 64 nostalgia there. Yeah, this was a, a good dose of N64 nostalgia. Um, I'm glad I'm glad we got to play some some good like good N64 for once. I, I feel like the last couple N64 games we played were kind of boring. Yeah. I, I feel like Wave Race was like the last one that was halfway decent. Interesting. Yeah. Um. All right. So, Mark, you want to plug all of our other podcasts? So, uh, every Wednesday we have um, 
uh, Stranger Damies, our D&D podcast. Um, you can search for it, Stranger Damies. Um, you can find it on Instagram and Twitter, at Stranger Damies. Um, and then you can find our movie podcast, They Call This a Movie, uh, by searching for that wherever you get your podcast. Um, Instagram and Twitter, at The Main Damie. Uh, the Main Damie is our main website, TheMainDamie.com. Um, it's where all of our podcasts live. Um, and you can also find some writing from, uh, you know, Anthony and some of us uh, at some point. Uh, probably mostly Anthony. Um, but it is there. Um, and then, yeah, we, uh, we have, we've been doing Extra Life. Um, we're raising some money for that. Um, we're at $565. We got a $10 donation today from Anonymous. Or else I would have shot them out if I knew the name. Um, and... Uh, you can uh, go and donate at tonyurl.com slash extra life, the number five. We're going to be doing a Friendsgiving stream on Wednesday before Thanksgiving. So if you're watching this live, tune in for a, in a couple days for that. If you're watching this on YouTube on the archive, the archive of that stream is probably there as well. Um, so be on the lookout for that. And then we'll probably do something in December as a final push uh, to get towards our two final goals of $600 and a thousand. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Um, we do our streams um, every uh, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, Sunday, and every other Monday. Um, so, you know, be sure to check us out here. Um, and, Tom, I don't know if you want to run down the podcast. Yep. Yep. Before I get to that, though, we are at Game Vault Pod on all social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We got it all, thank God. <laughs> uh, but we do this podcast every other Monday. Uh, we just released a podcast this morning where we talk, we do our extra life wrap up and recap, and uh, we also discuss the teething issues of this new generation of consoles. So uh, feel free to check that out and and reach out to us on Twitter and let us know what you think about the PS5 and the Xbox Serieses. Series S and X, um, and play some 1080 snowboarding and let us know what you think of it. Uh, we we like to get everybody involved in retro roulette. That's what this podcast was kind of built for. Uh, so uh, I'm I'm always happy to hear your guys' opinions on these games. Um, uh, Jenny posted in the chat previously. Uh, we are an affiliate of Stone Age Gamer, and like I told Mark before. There will be a Black Friday sale where they generally have EverDrives for 20% off. And if you use our uh, affiliate code, we get a little kickback from that. And it makes uh, us, it gives us the ability to do these podcasts a little easier uh, to do these podcasts and streams for free. So check that out. Uh, link's also in the description. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, it's also there as well. Um, so yeah, uh, check check uh, check the Twitter for uh, all the, all our latest news and uh, stream updates. We'll be back on Wednesday, like Mark said, for some uh, some f almost final <laughs> uh, extra life stuff. We'll be doing some Jackbox games, and uh, Mark and Jenny may even bust out the DDR mats. We'll see. Uh, my no, no commitment to that. <laughs> my fingers are crossed for that. But anyway, uh, I think it's a good place to end for everybody in chat and Mark joining me. I'm Tom, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>